Hello, my name is Sakari Lehtinen. Let's continue on getting started with SimplePim by editing the properties. If you are not already watching inside the SimplePim, please get your free trial now from www.datacubist.com. If the data in a BIM exchange file cannot be professionally trusted, the whole data exchange becomes useless. Just like you double check and make sure that only the correct property values in the correct format are included in drawings, you should do the same for the BIM exchange files. The current BIM author tools don't have preview or editor for BIM exchange files. You could use some of the free IFC viewers for reviewing, but since they don't allow you to evaluate the data against any specific requirements, the reviewing is sort of useless. Furthermore, the viewers have none or very limited editing features, so you can't actually create the professional PIM exchange file, and none of them will tell you the requirements of the targeted task and application. OK, let's review and edit the properties with Simple PIM. Choose walls from the dropdown. Note that you can edit both string and numeric values. For property, I'll choose construction type. As you can see, here we only edit properties needed for the targeted task. You don't have to go through all the other properties and their values included in the original model. The values don't seem correct. For some reason, the modeling application has written the correct values to a different place in the file than the receiving application is expecting them to be. This is very common and there are many reasons why this can happen. It depends on application, macros, versions, modeling techniques you use, and so on. Luckily, this is also easy to fix. Simply find the correct values on the right and drag and drop them to the correct place to the left. In this case, to the construction type. Note that this is also something you can automate with templates if you find yourself doing the same edit for every model. Here's a nice trick for visualization. Host all the objects and turn to speak for the property editor on. Now click on the different values and double check that all is in order. You should find that some of the walls don't have correct values. This should be external walls 1. I'll drag and drop them to the EX1. Actually, the name is misspelled. I double click it and edit the value, press enter and now it's better. I think I need new value for these walls so I add a value by clicking the plus icon and I connect the walls to the value by drag and dropping them onto it. Note that correcting and replacing values is one more thing you can automate with templates if needed. To practice the property editing Go through all the other included object types and their properties. Don't forget the numeric values. When you're done, it's time to export the model. Click on the Export Preview button and continue by watching the tutorial over there. See you in a bit.